Yo, hello friends. Welcome back to my little camera channel. And today I will show you how to convert your old analog SLR camera into a digital one with mirrorless function. So uh, I have here the Canon EOS 500N and it's a very old uh, one of the cheaper versions with uh, film stock. And uh, so let's first start put off the lens and we have to modify things a little bit. We come back to the lens later. So you see here the mirror and um, there's no film stock in there right at the moment. So I just uh, removed the shutter. So I did that first before the video. So um, the shutter is also, also removed. So now we have to uh, get rid of the mirror. Uh, I can break it apart, but I think for now it's better just to glue it up here first with a stick, sticky sticky, and now we have this. It's uh, in perfect condition to make a digital camera mirrorless out of it. And now I will show you how this will go on. First, we need. Um, I link all the parts in the description below. We need first this um, board with the main processor and we need um, all the parts. Here I have a small part battery and we have to solder it uh, down a little bit. Um, it's charging right now and uh, the sensor, I can show you the sensor. It will have uh, this is the sensor right now here you can see and I will uh, put it up here we have to modify some things out of here and um, then I can put up the sensor um, just right back in a moment when I get the real stuff so we can put uh, this sensor unit uh, right in front of here. I will uh, show you the parts in the description. I will link everything to the uh, part manufacturing. This is a CMOS APS-C uh, part sensor and it will fit perfectly up in the hole here. We have to uh, solder a bit and uh, later glue it in place. And now um, I will continue to uh, put on the sensor right in here. Just have to do some measurements on the power unit, on the accumulator, uh, just for the show, yeah. Beep. That's nice. And up here, Beep. that's nice too. Um, we can go on and put the sensor in here. Like in my former projects, uh, something will work better with hot glue. So this is the time I use my rusty old hot glue cannon. And oh, by the way, well, this cannon too. Um, because of the accumulator, the flash won't work after the conversation, but we can have uh, really good photos with this uh, lens. It's also a Canon zoom lens, 28, 3.5 to 4.5. It's a really good manufacturing unit and will fit perfect for our sensor. So we wait for the hot glue and then we can go on. I have to solder some parts right now. Here we have to do it very close, careful. Perhaps I go into a macro 
just for you when I not forgot it said oh okay this looks nice uh, I think we have it yes this will work so right now you see on the statues I saw it right here LED statues LED we can uh, put it it's a, a common chip from the Arduino family so this will uh, work very fine also with uh, PC uh, Mac and Linux systems uh, we can uh, charge and data transfer via the USB port and here I have conversation for three buttons I will later uh, mount it to the shutter to the exposure wheel and to the function so all the other buttons on the original analog camera we don't need I have uh, here on this board three buttons for the shutter for the exposure and the function wheel the function wheel will uh, be part as of uh, the menu and we can just scroll and um, enter with the shutter in the menu and go back to record mode this will also uh, capture later in full HD also as a 4k resolution with uh, this sensor I will now put the board together on the camera but first we have to take uh, some preparations it's uh, really important to flip out this it holds the old film stock we don't need it anymore just flip out this too and if you can there are some uh, little screws here I think I uh, have to fetch a little screwdriver as you see we also want to get rid of uh, this metal spring that just holds the original analog film stock in place and uh, we don't need it anymore for our digital conversation uh, just be careful when you do so because it's uh, really important not to uh, demolish the sensor board here and um, I just want to check um, if we need this mm, I think we can oh, the hot glue is already finished so um, we have to put some places in part on the chip the sensor will fit right now into the camera I hot glue now a little chip onto the board just for safety reasons you see uh, later in the conversation mod we will put also a bigger milliampere accumulator on it now it says here 1300 it's common for cameras like this but um, at the time I will upgrade to a bigger one so and now you will see how I will put the sensor in place I check for security issues and now I think we can go on the status LED is also good right now and uh, we have to um, put it in here um, the buttons will function later on very good so perhaps we can 
uh, just use the plastic over here for our part function yes it's good i now will glue some parts together just to be sure and everything will work fine with within the camera body you have to be very careful at this stage of integration and perhaps i have to wait now for the hot glue the mold i hope it will fit now very good and we have to wait oh we can we can put hot glue over here on on here it's it's good more hot glue means more step stable camera movement so we have to wait now see you again in a few minutes so everything is in place now and uh, glued tight and correct i just have to solder in this little unit that device allows us to uh, interact with uh, a computer and i um, just glue it in a space where i can uh, attach also some cables for the function button of the shutter and um, the other two functions I know I use. Um, at this point the sensor uh, functions as a display. We can reverse it for uh, emitting light to uh, getting light and vice versa. So you don't have to worry about this. Uh, later I will uh, put it uh, back in place in front for our use with the lens with the very good Canon lens so now we have to put the preparator organization board just in place for our good reason I just put it here we have to solder a bit so it will fit right now into this direction um, and later this cable will just uh, hit the exit and we have to wait till this conversation uh, soldering is up and we can power up just in a moment ah, I see I have forgotten to uh, fix this it has to be here in place exact at this place between this screw and uh, this button with this star uh, we can later use it as uh, exposure control for fixing exposure in, uh, in manual mode perhaps um, I thought about uh, just close this uh, lit here but uh, now it's better to regularly save it not to close because of the malfunction of the sensor and uh, therefore i want to glue it in place um, just in case it will not fit but then it will good be for gluing um, special um, things here i used a screwdriver i use uh, the hot glue i can link you in description i have here this one quarter inch to eight mile uh, little screws with phillips you can see you need you need uh, two of this and of course um, we have to uh, we have to wire a little bit for the shutter button now. 
so also the wiring will be soldered again because the shutter button is important later for taking photos you see this old analog camera will come to new life into a mirrorless experience in a few minutes yes i just swap out here the plastic you have to you have to carefully poke it down no one wants a, a bad experience so and now the shutter button cable movement is right here I hope you can see it on camera so I will just glue it here and then we have to solder it back on this board for the PC for the PC connection you can also use USB but uh, here we we take PC connection I see my soldering is not the best but it will work at the moment for this and then I have to check again if shutter button will release therefore I can just check here and now on this board and then I can click on shutter button beep yeah this will work so really good first try we have uh, we are able to shutter button we are able now to power this thing up uh, as I said before later we will get a bigger battery with more milliampere therefore and uh, so this is now the display and I uh, hope okay the um, hot glue cannon now we can put out we don't need any more hot glue cannon I can power up first time to try camera with USB connection I hope my soldering works just fine yes and there we have first sign of life with the original digital SLR uh, original analog now we convert it and this is all the magic and you see it will um, power up and now I'm also able to button to button here and um, then at next time we can put lens on we can put lens on and uh, just have fun with our new digital camera made from old analog I uh, highly welcome why yes oh uh, I see at first stage we put on here uh, this to uh, hopefully get the um, the mirror and the second view mirror but um, I just want it to be safe in place and so we have to um, hot glue here another time so nothing can disturb our photographic experience and also videographic so I have to wait now for hot glue to get really good and uh, 
In the next stage, I show you all the functions with working shutter button. So yes, I just powered it up and uh, you can see here in the display it will work fine with the sensor. On the other side, um, I just have to uh, load it uh, fully and now we can uh, put on a uh, lens. Just uh, like a regular SLR camera and now you see it uh, really works good and fine. Um, we can uh, just put on shutter button. Oh no, this is a menu, a little malfunction I think. So we go back to uh, go back to shooting mode. And uh, as you see, we have um, we have a lens on, and uh, you can see my hand in display. It really works uh, good. And now I will record some uh, video file first. I hope this will work with the button. I do shutter and now you see red dot it's recording video file and um, I mentioned it's also recording audio with this you have uh, record audio with this and now I put shutter button and I'm in menu yes now we have a fully, fully function camera with original Canon lens and with um, shutter button working, exposure control working correctly. And uh, oh yes, it says confirm. I uh, just put on yes. Uh, it's uh, the button over here, I think. Um, yeah, I can click and yes, we have it. And uh, that's how to convert analog Canon camera into digital mirrorless camera. And as I say mirrorless, I uh, show you how I've done this. I re release lens now. And so you can see um, it's mirror here is completely open up there's no mirror shutting and you have uh, fully control over all the settings as i said later we will solar in a better and bigger battery uh, but for first now this is my little project for you for the world and uh, just be careful when you solder and hot glue for yourself with these cameras. Oh, it's uh, shutting down. I think I have to repower it again. But you, say, uh, you see, it will work just fine. And now I can say, um, have fun. I will link all the parts in the description um, and you can build for yourself. Mirrorless digital camera with really good Canon lens on it and you can get this for a couple bucks and then for yourself 4k full HD uh, raw recording and of course photos so have fun with this project and I hope you enjoy, leave a subscription and a like and a comment if you want to, then I will uh, just answer all the comments because uh, 
you are my viewers are very important for me. Have a good evening and later back on on my camera channel. Bye.